Morning home learners, it's Miss Lester here. Right, today we are going to be doing some maths. And we have been looking at measure. Now we've looked at things that are tall, things that are short, things that are long, and things that are short. And today we're going to have a go at actually measuring some items. We are going to be using our hands and our feet. Okay, so have you at home got your hands and your feet ready? Cool, let's find some items. Remember guys, that it is important that you ask your grown-ups first before you start getting their spoons and their shoes and their vacuum cleaner and having a go at measuring it. Okay, if you're going to make a big fat mess, make sure you ask first. Oh, and most importantly, make sure you tidy it away. Okay, home learners? Right, let's have a go at measuring. Okay, so I wanted to get onto the floor to show you this. So we've got a little bit more space. This is my rabbit basket. And I will, first of all, place my hand at the top. Now it's going to be tricky if I don't start in the right place. I have to have my hand right at the edge of the object I am measuring, okay? Okay, so there it is right at the edge. Uh, one hand, two hands, whoa, three hands long. Dun, dun, dun. So I'll just draw my basket here. There we go. Da, la, la, la. And that basket was three hands. There we go, three hands long. Okay, everyone, I'm going to measure my next item now. And this is a book. Now, when we're using our hand as a measuring tool, we have to start the measurement from here and finish it there, okay? It's important that we're only using the hand to measure, not the whole arm. Otherwise, we will not get an accurate result, okay? Okay, so I place my hand at the edge there. One hand. Oh, oh. Oh, gosh. Well, that's crazy. That was one and a half hands. Rightio, home learners. I think I'm going to measure one more. I'm going to measure this big spoon from my kitchen using my hands, okay? So that's one. You can see, oh, not quite accurate. I have got the end of the spoon touching the start of my hand. And let's use another hand to measure. Oh, oh, look at that. The spoon is two hands long. Okay, so now let's draw my big spoon. And who can remember how long that was? Ding, ding, ding! You're right, that was two hands long. Now it's really important, home learners, that you always put what you have measured with. If you just put the number, that doesn't mean anything. You need to tell me that you have used hands to measure the items today. That was just super duper guys, well done. Now tune in for tomorrow's lesson when we are going to be learning to measure using our feet. Bye home learners.